Sally, uh, you're, you're one of the most adored people on the planet, and there's so many stories about you, uh, about your career on the internet, and I thought maybe tonight we can clear up a few rumors or truths and just see what's real and what's, what's not. Okay. All right, good. Uh, uh, okay, in honor of our song and, and your special, let's start with a Christmas one. During the holidays, you have a Christmas tree in every room of your house, and you dress up as Santa to give out gifts to your family. I do. That's true. I, well, see, I'm very big in my family. All my little nieces and nephews, and now my little grandnieces and nephews. And so I go pick them up in a, a after I got the money to do it, in a, in a limousine, but it's like our sleigh. So yeah. I go get them in my Santa suit, pick them up. They come to my house for a day <laughs> and a night. And then I have an elevator in my house that I've had painted like, an, uh, like a chimney down under. And so I come down the elevator with in my Santa suit with my bag, and they're all down the, right? in the basement. Yeah, you I brought us you a have, photo. You brought a oh, photo. Oh, yeah. Oh, you have that? Yeah, I told, they had asked me about it. But this is like uh, over here. Oh, my God. There's fire there. And How then, cool well, there's is there's tons this? of them. That's just one of the little pictures. Hey, and this little fellow plays the elf in our Magic Mountain Christmas. This Does he really? Him. Yeah. Look out for the elf, But okay? anyway, so I dress up and take them around. They spend the night with me. We do cookies. Of course you do fun that. stuff, yeah. But do, you, do you think of all the ideas for Dollywood, by the way? Because every second is thought of. Every corner is thought of. I loved it so much. I could, uh, you were probably like, Jimmy, stop talking about Dollywood. Well, you I, can. I'm I was... very proud of it. But no, I have so many wonderful creative people. But yeah, I'm very involved I loved in what it. goes I loved on at Dollywood. It's, it's second really of that place. Go to Dollywood. By the way, that roller coaster, I didn't get a chance to tell you. It scared me so much. I almost <laughs> died on the roller coaster <laughs> from scared. And I got on this roller coaster and normally it goes like <laughs> and you get scared. You're like, oh, it's going to be good. No, this thing, I think it's called the lightning rod. It goes <laughs> and I thought it was broken. I thought it was broken. Oh. I'm like, ah! I screamed louder than anyone. There's kids telling me to calm down behind me. Like, calm down, buddy. I'm like, oh. Anyway, it was but, awesome. But well, Molly loves the roller coasters too. She was late for the show because she wants to ride them all. It's the greatest so, thing. We talk about that in the show with her. Uh, okay, how about this? You once entered a Dolly Parton lookalike contest <laughs> and lost. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun. Uh, they give you free drinks. You don't really win anything. So some friends of ours, we thought it'd be funny. So I just over-exaggerated, put the bigger beauty mark, bigger hair, bigger, you know, everything. And I walked across the stage. I got a little trickle of applause. <laughs> so I lost the contest, but we had a big time because of it. They didn't even consider me. You weren't even on the list. It was Halloween, you know? It was like everybody was out. Um... You sleep in your makeup in case you ever need to evacuate the house in the middle of the night. That's not true. Yeah, it is true. Uh, <laughs> it's true when I'm in L.A. because they have so many earthquakes and I'm always scared to death, you know, that there's going to be one in the middle of the night. And, and I don't want to be out in the street, you know, with stuff crumbling around and the TV cameras out there. So I leave my makeup on. Uh, out there, and I, and I leave my wig on a, a nightstand, or you know, or either I'll fix my hair a little bit to yeah. make sure I'm not going to look too bad. <laughs> so that's true. So you always look like a million bucks. Wow. Well, um, I don't know. I don't know that. That's how much it's cost me to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, this one seems interesting to me. You you bought your family's first TV. Uh, after winning a greasy pole climbing contest. <laughs> well, I was 10 years old when I started, when I was singing on a local radio and television show. And I was a little tomboy because I grew up with all them brothers. You know, there's 12 of us kids and we were all just wild little mountain kids. So anyway, I knew how to climb a tree. And this show that I was on, they had a, a, a show that I was singing on yeah. down in Sevierville. And they had a greasy pole at this theater where we were singing. And at the top of the pole, they had it stripped down. And if you climbed it, and there's a hundred dollars or a few hundred dollars, whatever it was, I don't remember now, at the top of the a pole. And nobody could climb it. So I, I was on, on a little break, and I got out and kind of rolled around in the dirt, a little gravel, to got a little bit of dirt on me. And I climbed up that pole, and I got that money. And they were mad because, because I was an entertainer that was rigged somehow. And the guy that ran the show said, how in the hell can you rig a, a greasy, greasy pole? pole? Yeah, no, yeah, and yeah. so he said, she's getting the money. So I, I was singing on radio and TV, and we didn't even have a TV. So I, I paid down on the TV 
We got a TV in our house, and nobody in our area had a TV, and my daddy worked hard. So all these neighbors would come to our house to watch Wagon Train and Woody Woodpecker and <laughs> yeah. all those shows back then. And my daddy said, we got to get rid of this damn television. But they, we would stay there, and there were not late shows then, yeah. but the show would just go, you know, just snow on it. So we'd stay up, they'd stay there and watch the late snow. And my, <laughs> <laughs> just watch the late snow, My yeah. daddy said, we got to get rid of this TV because i got to work. Cause that people would just come and you didn't want to hate I, their I feet, like, hurt course, their feet. There's got to be some truth to this thing. I that, love now, that is the truth. That's I amazing. swear on that one. Uh, that, that didn't have one of those get Jimmy buttons on it. No, no yeah, yeah, yeah no. <laughs> the, uh, 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 This one um, says, and I have a feeling this is real, but I don't know, because you're very cool. You have a secret song locked away in Dollywood that will be released in 2045. That's the truth. Uh, no, seriously, when we... Uh, we do a lot of things at Dollywood, and one year we thought about that. They asked me if I would write a song that nobody would ever hear. I'll be dead, gone. Well, I might not be, because I'll be 99. You know me. I might, yeah, you can do I it. I might still be hopping Yeah, you'll be there. there. I think you'll be there. Anyway, I, put, I wrote a song, and I put it in, in the box to be open, and I even put, like at that time, there was CD player and, and the ways and saying what we were doing with our music at that time, left all the instructions, and here's how you can play this. No. <laughs> I swear. And so I don't know what they'll do with it, but I have regretted that because it was a really good song. And, <laughs> you know, you I'm serious. should have released that I song. I keep wanting them to let me dig it up and uh, well, put something else in it that's not as good. But, yeah. Uh, 2045, we'll see the song. If any of you are around when they open that box, well, I hope you enjoy my song. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we will. Dolly Parton, everybody. Check out Dolly Parton's Mountain Magic Christmas tomorrow night at 8 p.m. on NBC. We'll be right back with Claire Foy. Stick around. No, I love you. <laughs>